Greetings. Welcome to this episode of the Table Advisory Open Sessions. My name is Pierre Walters. During the month of April, the COVID-19 pandemic became real for all of us. And as you may know, this was also the month where our team at Blue Artist was working overtime to prepare Brand Desk for launch in early May 2020. Introducing change to customers is not an easy task, especially when your customer relationship has lasted for years and on the promise of the services you once held. In our case, preparing to move to Brandesk was already a rather difficult proposition for many of our established customer relationships. Adding COVID-19 on top of that did not make things any easier. So to help assuage customer fears and gain support during a difficult time, I made personal and direct contact with as many of our customers as I could. Now, I knew I couldn't reach everybody directly, but I damn sure tried. This conversation is one, this conversation is with one of my customers who had established a several year history with Blue Artist to date. When I contacted him to chat, he had no idea that we would be discussing a change as dramatic is migrating to Brandesk, but he was willing to hear me out. And while he was aware that our conversation would be recorded, I've censored his name and any identifying details for added privacy. The purpose of this open session is to hear the delicate exchange of introducing a rather inconvenient change to an established customer relationship, but doing so in a way that identifies the current pain points and helps to gain support for something better. Over the past several years, um, Blue Artist has been in development of a new platform uh, called Brand Desk. And this platform is something that uh, we were originally planning to launch in May 2020, next month. But we had no idea that COVID-19 was gonna hit. This was a complete, you know, just a complete surprise. And um, so, you know, COVID-19 has hit and we thought that this would be a great opportunity to not just, uh, uh, not just, um, well, not COVID-19, but we were already planning to launch, but we thought, well, because of COVID-19, this is a great opportunity to provide some kind of relief to all of our existing clients uh, that choose to come with us over into Brandesk, which will be our new platform. Um, and as an incentive to, to, to do this, uh, we're prepared to offer you a 50% cut on the balance that you currently owe. If you decide to come with us to Brandesk, Brandesk is basically I know it's a little hard because I can't show you Brandesk at the moment. Well, I can, but not all of it. I'll bring it up so that you get a little bit of a visual. Uh, this is Brandesk. This is kind of what it looks like right now. Um, mm -hmm. it, it is a platform for continuing to build your brand. Um, there's a lot that I want to be able to show you and walk you through in terms of how it works, how the prices are better how it just really just improves the entire process. Um, and I can't show that to you now because we don't uh, technically launch until May 1st. So on May 1st, I will be able to walk you through and provide much, much more in-depth kind of, to, to, you know, kind of walk through to kind of get you excited about using it. But, but what I want to say in preparation for that is that if you can journey with us into Brandesk, we would like to cut your, uh, your, uh, your finance balance in half by 50%. And then on top of that, uh, we also uh, want to sort of work out a, uh, a much more affordable monthly payment. So uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, go to our brand. So uh, is Brand Desk an addition to Blue Artist? Or is, it, is, is Blue Artist becoming Brandesk? That's a oh, great question. You know, and I, I, thank you for asking because I'm so I'm just like so ready to jump in and get into the details. So Brandesk is a new service that Blue Artist is offering. 
it's a new service. It is, uh, it, it, it is where we are kind of, it's the direction we're moving in. But uh, when we launch Brandisk on May 1st, we're not ceasing operations for everyone who is currently on DevLab. Uh, people who are still working with, with us through the DevLab system, that system will still be available. It's just gonna be the old system, whereas the new system is Brandesk and the new system has a lot more benefits and incentives and rewards and all kinds of stuff. Um, one, of the, one of my favorite concepts with Brandesk is that the, uh, the membership for Brandesk actually starts, uh, it's actually free. Whereas what right now with Blue Artists, um, you, there's actually a membership fee that you're paying. So as part of transitioning into Brandesk, if you, and this is something that you would really consider, you know, especially if you were looking at ordering new, new products or new services from us, if there's other things that you wanted to do or build, you know, more than likely they would be happening in Brandesk rather than in the current DevLab system. And to make this process smooth and easy, um, uh, clients like you who have been financing a balance, we've we've decided, you know what, this is a great opportunity to sort of restructure that financed balance into something that is more affordable uh, that can be paid off a lot, you know, uh, much quicker. And so in your case, what I would like to do is to cut that balance in half and you can continue to use Brandesk, our new platform, completely for free. The, the Brandesk platform has a free membership, which we will be uh, inviting you in through. And uh, that free membership entitles you to a lot of great benefits. You can continue to, if you see something that you want to purchase, you can finance that if you want to. There's discounts that you earn. Brandesk uh, gives you cash rewards for uh, just being active on the platform and using it to build your brand. A lot of this is stuff that I will show you in much more detail um, in May once we launch and once you know we sit down to kind of see if this is a good fit for you, if this is something you'd like to do. The, the offer of cutting your finance balance in half by 50% that is a direct response to COVID-19. We thought, you know, how can we, how can we really help people right now? And obviously the best way to do it, we can't totally suspend the monthly payments because obviously those monthly payments are necessary in order to, uh, to pay back the services that have been financed. But what we can do is we can find a way to reduce those payments and we can find a way to cut the balance in half. And so that's what we've done. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So I guess uh, my questions are, as far as, um, you know, uh, me and my project, um, mm -hmm. I still got to get this book uh, edited, uh, published, uh, designed, mm -hmm. and, uh, and published, and, right. um, and, and promoted. That's right. And so with that being said, as far as um, the difference between what we had uh, going on with Blue Artist and then with uh, Grand, De uh, Grand Desk, you know, how would, how would that differ? What, what does that mean ultimately? And what does that mean in the price? Um, like, you know, based off where we are in the process now with your book, a lot of it has been written already. So hypothetically, by the point that you're ready to move forward, it would be about publishing. It would be about editing, proofreading, design for the cover, you know, going through the publishing process and getting it into stores. Um, Brandesk is a platform. And what I'm about to show you is something I'm incredibly proud of. So here I am in Brandesk. I'm going to click on services. And here, there's a new service, which is the evolution of our current publishing service. And that service is called Walters Publishing. This is Walters Publishing. Okay, is that Walter? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Walter. 
but this is Walters Publishing. And Walters Publishing is a dramatic evolution of our current publishing service, the, the publishing service that we're currently selling through Blue Artists. Um, Walters Publishing is better in every way uh, than what we're than what we were doing in under the under the uh, old way that we're doing it in DevLab. Um, this this method uh, is priced much more competitively. Um, it is also something that has more payment plan and financing options. So. What I love about Brandesk is that you don't need to have a credit line. You don't need to be paying into a credit line and all that. It's, we, the, the payment plans are much more robust and much more accessible. Um, the, the breadth of services that we can offer through Walters Publishing is broader than what we're currently able to launch under the old system. Um, so we've got book publishing, total book development, audio publishing, total audio book development. And there's a lot here that you can read about the different uh, the different services that are involved with Walters Publishing. Um, but to really answer your point, and by the way, here are some books that have already been, you know, that we've already published that we've kind of migrated and moved over into Walters Publishing. Um, but to answer your question in terms of for someone who's already sort of engaged in a project, the good news is that, you know, where we are with your project is that we have not actually begun the publishing process yet. We've only been doing ghostwriting and we've been handling that hourly through support hours. And we've been doing that because, you know, we needed to be very flexible with how we went through that process with you. Um, and so that was the appropriate way of handling it. Uh, and the, the understanding was that once the, once the manuscript was finished and ready to be published, then at that point, uh, you would purchase your, your publishing deal on the Blue Artist website. Well, uh, you haven't done that yet, which means this is a great opportunity for you to compare and contrast. For you to, and, and you can't do it now because it's not live yet, but in May, you can do this together. You can see what Walters Publishing has to offer you versus what the old Blue Artist publishing deal has to offer you. Um, and you can see the difference in terms of your monthly payments, uh, in terms of the price, the monthly payments, the payment plans available, the rewards. Um, uh, all of that you'll be able to see very clearly. Obviously, uh, I can tell you up front that Walters Publishing is the better deal. No question about it. Um, but uh, you'll be able to see that for yourself at that time. But because you haven't actually ordered a publishing deal yet, you are really in a great position to be able to take advantage of uh, the launch of Walters Publishing. So I think it, you know, it's going to be a great, it's a great time to kind of get you moving in that direction. And what's really great about that is my hope is that if you move with us over to Walters Publishing, you'll be doing that with significantly less uh, debt on the account. Um, because like I said, we're gonna cut the debt in half. And then on top of that, we're gonna reduce the monthly payment. It, it's, just a, it's just a more affordable, I, I think it's, it's a more affordable and it's gonna be a, just a more you know, comprehensive, pleasant, pleasurable way to move forward with, um, with, publishing, with publishing your book. And I would love, absolutely love to have you as one of our first authors uh, published under under Walters Publishing. Obviously, we have we we we've, we've migrated all of our past books, as you can see here. We've migrated all of these previous authors into Walters Publishing, but everyone that is listed here had their book developed under the old Blue Artist Publishing deal, and so you know you would be among the first to really have your project developed found foundationally on the new Walters publishing system. And so how this connects with Brandesk, and it's, it's kind of labeled right here where it says built for synergy. Um, Brandesk is the platform and Walters publishing is built on that platform. So Brandesk is kind of like 
think of Brandesk as like a Gmail account. It's like a it's like a Google account. But that wow. Google account gets you access to a bunch of great Google services, like Google Map or Google Docs. Are you familiar with, with those different types of services? Yes. Okay. So it's very similar in that way. Branddesk is a platform that when you have a free membership on Branddesk, you instantly get access to these really great additional businesses that we are building on that platform. Uh, and and once, I, once we're able to get into Branddesk, I can show you around, you'll really start to see, oh, this is why this makes sense because of how it's so easy to take uh, the information that's developed for one project uh, and kind of easily bring that into a different project and under a totally different business. Um, I think it's a really great, uh, it's a really great synergy. And I know that for our clients, it really, it really is built to address all, every single one of the major issues that people have had over the past seven to eight years of uh, of working with us through the dev lab system does that make sense yeah no i see it i see it and um you know this <laughs> i'm sure i mean it looks great and you know and i and i can i can hear your ex excitement and, and enthusiasm for um what you got coming up here and it would be my pleasure and honor to be a part of that man. Well, thank you. I'm th that is what makes me so excited. And I'm like, look, man, I want you, I, I want you to come so badly in this new direction on in, and to be a you know to be a part of this wonderful transition that uh, I wanted to do my best to reduce any kind of friction that might you know impede that. And I think you know cutting the debt is really. I think that's where it starts. That's really, I think, the best good faith effort that we as a company can make to you as a, as a customer that's been with us for quite some time to show you that we're serious. We're absolutely serious about this new direction and we're willing to put our money where our mouth is and cut the debt so that, you know, your month, your payments go down and you're, you know, hopefully that, you, you know, improves any kind of stress that you might have on a monthly basis and just makes your life a little bit better <laughs> oh, yeah. and and makes you a little more comfortable with coming into brand desk and seeing what we have to offer so again, uh, you know uh, does this does this um is this going to be working in hand with blue artist or at, at this point come may does blue artist begins to uh fade fade is out then brand desk is is what it is you guys are oh man you you really set that up in a really great way because you, you can't see me right now but i've got this just fantastically big smile on my face so because <laughs> I, I i've been wanting to answer this question for years but i have not been able to because we've been too far away from the finish line but now we're just less than 30 days away from the finish line so stanley blue artists is actually not an agency uh, that's been our primary business model for the last couple of years, but we've been doing other things like producing films, uh, video, we've been doing a lot of nonprofit work, we do a lot of uh, uh, educational work for, for you know, our community, workshops, conferences. There's so much that Blue Artist does that we recognize that it, beca it became necessary to kind of clearly articulate where Blue Artist fits in all of this because it's because blue artist is not just a creative agency but so many of our clients only know us through that through that angle of being a creative agency so blue mm -hmm. artist is actually a conglomerate and this is this is uh where we are now so this is our current website and right as you can see it's very kind of it's really kind of selling the idea of we're an agency come here to build your brand but moving forward Blue Artist is going to look more like this. Hmm. Okay. And if I scroll down, I'll see Brandesk. But I'll also see 
other businesses that we plan to launch as well starting in May. So we're launching a new business called Right Move, which is for all copywriting. We're launching a new graphic design company called Twirl Design. We're launching a new media company called Media Roll. We're launching a new uh, 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 virtual assistant company called Task Flow. Obviously, we're launching Walters Publishing, which, which I've just shown you. We're also going to be launching a new marketing company called Flix Marketing. We're launching a new consulting company called The Table Advisory. And something I'm personally really excited about is we're launching our very own music label called Kai Music Group so that we can you know, really get more aggressive about our, our impact in music. You know, we, we've, we've produced a lot of music over the years, but people don't really think of us as a music company because, you know, it's, it's, we're so much a creative agency. So Kai Music Group is gonna be our music label starting in May, 2020. Um, and as far as your label is concerned, what, um, how, does, how, does, how does that work? Are you, are you you distributing yourselves, or are you uh, strictly uh, downloads, or how does it, how does that work? Great, great question. We are we are going to be in stores, so we're going to be physical product, physical CDs in uh, CDs in stores wherever CDs are still sold. <laughs> um, but yeah. you know, a lot of people are getting a lot of people prefer to get their music streaming through you know Spotify, Pandora, Apple, Google Music. So we're going to be there too. Um, and we're going to be everywhere. We're going to be everywhere that we've got the entire infrastructure situated. And let me show you a little bit about it. Hold on. Oh, Bernie says no vinyl. We're not, we're not going to be on vinyl records. Although I Maybe hear not. vinyl is on the comeback though, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, my, not, my, uh, it's a little harder to figure that one out. So yeah, we we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're heading in that direction. We're not there yet. So not at launch, but, but vinyl is a look, we literally just bought a new vinyl record for the house. I mean, a new vinyl player for the house just a couple of months ago. And so like, no, it's definitely making a comeback. Um, here, I'm gonna click on Kai Music Group so that you can see a little bit more about it. This is kind of what it looks like for now. Um, we have a lot of great artists who are already in the queue. Again, they've been working with us as blue artists. So we're just transitioning things to a more dedicated business called Kai Music Group. Um, you know, we've got a lot of great artists that we've already produced. Um, our services are, are going to be the complete label experience. So I'm so excited about this. We're offering the complete label experience. So we're going to take people not, you know, from having just an idea with their, you know, with, you know, a musician who has their, just their talent. We're gonna get them studio time. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna get them, uh, you know, marketing and publicity. We're going to work with them to make sure they have proper advisory, that you know they have a good manager, a good uh, booking and sales, and uh, um, um, uh, uh, the other the other things that they need to advi advise uh, the advisory on. We're going to be uh, producing and orchestrating the entire music video experience and handling marketing from the time the album launches up until the time they're ready to begin work on their next album. Um, and, and so this is really a huge endeavor for us. Uh, these are just some of the services that are gonna be provided here on Kai Music Group. And as you can see, Kai Music Group is built on Branddesk. Okay? <laughs> so everything is built on Branddesk. And you know that's, that's kind of the secret to all of this is we wanted to build a, a great platform that allowed us to then sort of build other businesses, but have them all kind of synergize through a dedicated platform. Um, and so it took us years to get to this point. We're finally here, we're ready to launch and I wanna do it aggressively. And I wanna reward clients like you who have you know, really been fantastic clients over the years. You've supported us, you've continued to pay your bill, You've continued to, you know, uh, check in with your account. We're still here. We're on good terms, and I, I want I want you to benefit from what we're doing. And the best way to do it is for me to put my money where my mouth is and cut your finance balance in half. Um, here's a little bit more. 
It's looking and I, really I, good. Thank and, you. you know, and just and you should know, my son is a uh, is an artist. You know, he's um, he's and he's and he's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe I'll, I'll have to get the, get some uh, streams down to you to check it out, just to get your opinion. You know what? I would be very happy to. I would I would be happy to meet with him and talk with him. And if 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 he has interest in, in working with Kai Music Group to develop his next album. You know, we're gonna have one of the things I'm super excited about with my music group is. Do you remember when you came down here to do your uh, photo and video shoot? You came down to DC. Yeah. Well, Kai Music Group, when it launches, we are not just going to launch in DC. So I'm actually going digging a little deeper now into Kai Music Group. So here's the label service. We're launching in LA, Chicago, New York, and Washington DC all at the same time. Okay, we're in New York. Exactly, so what this means is we will have, at the time that we, I can't tell you now, but at the time that we launch, we will have uh, 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 music studios that are partnered with Kai Music Group in New York, probably in New York City somewhere, I don't know in which of the boroughs, I can't go into those details, but we will have studios that are available in New York, as well as in Washington, D.C., as well as in Chicago and L.A. And what, what Kai Music Group is doing is Kai Music Group is fronting the cost, just like a label. We're fronting the cost of the studio time, the, the, the development time, the, uh, the, cre the creation of the album, the music video, the uh, press kit, the marketing, the public relations, and the advisories. We're... we're at, just like a label, we're fronting the cost of all of that. Um, and we are going to be in each of these markets. So we're working with established studios in each of those markets so that they are paid up front to be able to work with our Kai Music Group music artists. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and so it's, it's fantastic. One of the things that makes us a little bit different though in terms of the new way of doing music labels versus the old way uh, is that we, uh, just like how kind of we, okay. So we are fronting up to, I believe it's 65% of the cost of the entire process. The client uh, is responsible for, for as little as 35%, okay? And what happens is the client can choose how they want to handle paying that back through their brand desk membership. It could be, they could do sort of a you know flexible payment plan. Um, there's a lot of options that they can choose from, but the point of all of those options is so that the, by the end of the production, the client is not in a, which is a very typical situation now for a lot of artists, where they've completed their, their product, they're in significant debt to their label because the label gave them a huge advance. They can't pay that advance back. All of the sales from their from their music goes towards paying that initial advance back and they just end up in a perpetual state of debt. So Kai Music Group is designed for the artist of the new age, the the, the you know, the new way of doing things, which is about we're we're not about you know, uh, trapping artists in these kind of debt cycles. We want to use Brandesk as a platform to uh, competitively provide the appropriate kind of payment plans to make this possible so that, so that the, the artist is responsible for a small amount. We're handling the brunt of it, kind of like a, a premium on an insurance policy. Um, but by making, by agreeing to whatever their payment plan is, as long as they can obtain that payment plan, then they'll continue to go through the entire process of the uh, of the music label of the music uh, label process. So we call it label service. If I click on New York, it digs it even deeper. You can choose the uh, how many hours you want in the studio. So let's say I wanted 10 hours in a studio in New York. And here we can go into uh, how many days you want for your music video. And then we, we're up front. We tell you the total value of that particular service. But then once you're in and you click view more, 
then you get into the real kind of nitty gritty where you can see how Grand, uh, how Grandesk and Kai Music Group are making that affordable by way of our payment plans and the infrastructure that Brandesk has has built. So, you know, uh, there's so many people. I, I remember when I was when I was in the initial stages of building Kai Music Group, I traveled to different music studios and I asked them, what is the biggest problem that you face right now with artists? And they said, the problem is artists will start projects and they won't finish them. And I said, why? Why do artists start projects and they can't finish them? And they said, the reason is because they can't afford to finish them. So they'll come in, they'll start a project with us, and then they can't afford to finish it and just get hung in, perpetu in, in, in perpetuity. Right. So my goal with Kai Music Group is to solve that problem so that artists are not in a situation where they're biting off more than they can chew, uh, even though the process of producing music and getting published and getting published, all that is expensive. But, you know, if there's one thing that Blue Artist has taught me over the last 10 years, it's that our model of figuring out a way to allow people to finance these types of creative services, it does work. It does work. And if we can find a way to bring that model into music, then we can make music production much more accessible and much more affordable for so many people. Um, that you know, so they don't have to go broke while they're trying to produce their album and get out there. And so Kai Music Group solves that problem. And, uh, and I'll be so excited to show you much more about it in May when, when we launch. Yeah, I'm very curious, very curious. What about the publishing? What's the split on the publishing? What's the split? When you say split, what are you talking about? Are you, as, as far as uh, if uh, an artist is associated uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, Kai Music and such, and, and I guess uh, since you guys would be uh, putting the money up front as a label does, mm -hmm. you know, usually that's at a cost that, uh, with the publishing. Yeah, it's it's a similar it's a similar deal. It's a similar situation where uh, we're at the very least we're asking our uh, our artists or our authors or our clients to at least put down at least thirty five percent. Okay, whatever the cost is for the entire process, at least thirty five percent. But the thing is that that come that can be even further reduced based off of other incentives. There's a lot of there's a lot of discounts and there's a lot of cash rewards that Brandes makes available that, and you'll see this, that can help sort of, sort of, sort of etch that, etch that 35% even lower. But on paper, it's at least 35%. It's, it's 35%, 50%, 65%, or 100%, just depending on the, the person and how they want to move forward. Um, and then whatever the rest of that is, that's where Brandes comes in. That's where Brandes fronts the price. And uh, in the case of Walters Publishing, that's where Walters Publishing fronts the price. So that uh, you know, you didn't you didn't actually finance your publishing deal on Blue Artist, but you did finance your photography and your video, I believe. Yes. And it's a it's a very similar kind of thing. Where, you know, we're making it affordable for you so you can come in and you can do these very expensive things, um, but you don't need to, you know, put up a lot of money for it. Um, and we just ask that you maintain your some, you know, whatever the monthly payment is that you agree to. But the main difference is that in Blue Artists, we handled that with a credit line. And in Brand Desk, we're doing away with credit lines. There's no credit lines in Brand Desk. Everything is handled individually uh, based off of uh, your relationship to Brand Desk. That gets a little bit more complicated um, in a good way, though. I guess the best way I can say is how you use Brand Desk will reward you with better payment options, better payment plans, more cash rewards, and... Um, uh, more opportunities to finance things. So it's it's a very dynamic system. It is a system. It's an automated system, and it's designed to basically reward you and and provide you with incentives for being a good customer using the platform. Um, 
And I mean, it's crazy. There's so many things you can do on Brandesk that don't require spending any money. You can use Brandesk to build a strategy. You can use Brandesk to forecast your earnings on a particular product that you want to launch. I mean, there's so many things you can do, and I'm going to show you these things in May. And just by doing those things, you're earning points, you're earning rewards, and those rewards translate directly into cash. And those, and that cash can be applied to any product that you decide to purchase on Brandes. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it so has some pretty clear incentives. As a as a musical artist, mm -hmm. so as far as um, you know the uh, the services that are provided, um, there's the transparency as to um, you know what uh, uh, production costs and 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 what have you and all like that, and so that's only the um, that's really rather the uh, the only real commitment that um, that the artist is making that that gets paid. Right, right. And all of that's, it, like I said, it is transparent. You'll know the price up front and that's it. That's the, that's the commitment. So before so, anybody moves forward, they do, you know, the artist still walks away with their masters and then, you know, right. and and very, you know it's incredibly, incredibly important. I wish I could, let me see if I can open that up in a different window. Cause I know how much that means to people. That's the new way of doing business, especially in the music industry. And I think that's what's so important is that you know you, you you know the old way is that we're going to give you this advance and and in exchange we're going to own your music that's the old way so yeah. the new way that we're spearheading and i don't know that we're spearheading it but we're definitely a part of the new wave of moving forward i'm going to show you here uh open it up here um is that uh no the artist owns everything they do and it's actually stated up front so let me let me kind of dive in here I'll show you one as an example. Here we go. All right, so let's click on New York. All right, and let's let's say we want to do 10 hours in the studio. We'll click on 10 hours. And let's say we want to do a one day music video shoot. Okay. All right, so here's how this kind of breaks down. All right, and here in the in the breakdown here, something I'm very proud of is the line, where does it, uh, here we go. I hope that you can see that. You retain music album distribution rights. This line is the one that is often uh, uh, removed <laughs> from most label most label uh, engagements because that's what they need they want the music album distribution rights so and they continue to profit off the album obviously you know for as long as possible and with kai music group that's not our way forward so when the album is produced it's owned by the artist the royalties go directly to the artist they don't go to brent to uh, kai music group Kai Music Group does not participate in the royalties at all. The royalties go directly from BMI or ASCAP, wherever it's being managed, mm -hmm. and it's sent directly to the artist. In fact, not only is it sent directly to the artist, but we actually work with the artist to help them to set up their account with those agencies so that they can allow those agencies to manage the collection of their royalties across all of the radio, streaming, internet, and physical distribution channels. So we are not getting, we're not stepping into that. We're, we're, that relationship is between the artist and those channels directly. And I think that's okay. something, you know, I'm very, I'm very proud of, because that's a diff, that's a major difference. Um, the, the, the trade-off for that kind of flexibility is that when the artist begins that, you know, when they begin the relationship with us, they're agreeing to a price and they are agreeing to a down payment. And then they're agreeing to uh, paying the balance of that price over a term that they choose at an amount that they're comfortable with. So that's, that's how we make our money back after we've spent 
the 20, you know, 20 to 25 thousand dollars. How much is it in this case? This is 18. Okay, so after we've spent the 18 thousand dollars or so to to provide all of this work from the the production to the video production to the photography, the artwork, the marketing, the EPKs, the um, the press kits, all of that, the, the nationwide press distribution, the music distribution, all of that, we've calculated that at about $18,765. Now, if there's an artist out there that can afford that, fantastic. They can pay us and then, you know, that's it. They don't have to worry about any kind of monthly payment. But most people can't afford that. So Brandesk sort of chunks that down into something that is affordable so that so that they can afford to to move forward with the service and to pay us monthly until this balance has been paid back um but we aren't earning any money from their royalties that's going directly to them does that make sense yeah so it, you, you put the package together and then it's up to the artist to get it sold no 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 we put the package together and then we also market it and then we also distribute it. We, we, we're, we're involved. We, we need to get this thing sold. It's very important. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we need we need to make so sure they're, you know, they're, paying they're, they're paying for that kind of expertise to, to make sure that their album is getting sold. And if, if you know, now look, we, can we guarantee that people are gonna open up their wallets and pay for someone's album? No, we can't, we can't make that guarantee. But what we can guarantee is that we're gonna do everything we can in terms of marketing to ensure that they're getting views on YouTube, that they're getting national press coverage, that they're booking shows. We're gonna do everything that we can to, to make sure that, you know, that they are being stimulated in that way. And hopefully, you know, the market responds accordingly. And I just tell them, you know, how we, how we did it back in the older days, where as far as getting it sold and, you know, where we actually, you know, had product and, but it's not like that now, it's a new day. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's new. <laughs> it is yeah. new. But, um, okay. It's new, it's, yeah. for a lot of people, it's very scary. Um, but, you know, listen, this is what this is what I've been telling people for the last couple of years. Um, a lot of a lot of what decides whether or not the album will be successful in the marketplace has to do with the quality of the album. You know, and and I think a lot of times we forget about that. We're, we're, we're it's we can be so we're you know the market itself is scary. So we think, oh that's, man, that's what I always thought at is with the music. Well, uh, could you that's say that again? I, say that again? No, I'm saying that's where I've always started that is with the music. Yeah, well, you know what? That's because you have wisdom. A lot of a lot of the uh, young artists that we've worked with over the last several years, you know, they're not starting from that place. They're they're thinking, you know, they're thinking, oh my goodness, it's it's too hard to break in. There's so many setbacks, there's so many reasons why I can't be successful. And they're so focused on that that they actually sort of sabotage themselves and either they don't finish their album or they don't produce something that could even be marketed well if it wanted to because they didn't really invest in the quality of the music they only invested in their marketing or, or whatever and 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 so you know i have enough experience and uh you know i think the team that we're bringing together for kai music group has enough collective experience to really understand that if you put something out there that is produced really well um, and uh, and presented really well, then you're 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 removing the friction from the market in terms of responding. People can't listen to it and say, "Oh, it sounds cheap," or "Oh, it's not produced well." You know, they can't say that. It really just comes down to taste at that point, and that's the market. And uh, and so I have noticed so many people have just sort of skimped out on how much they're willing to afford for a studio time, working with professional music producers, working with professional directors and video 
uh, producers to have their music videos produced. I mean, they skip out on these very key elements and then they get disappointed and knocked down when their album doesn't sell or when they can't get press coverage. Well, if we create a good product, we can get press coverage. We can book CD, you know, uh, concerts and, and, and all of that. So let's focus on creating a good product and let's put the money there and then market it accordingly. So that that's our model. That that's I mean that's the ethos behind Kai Music Group and obviously not just Kai Music Group but Walters Publishing and all of the other businesses that we're going to be launching within the next month. Um, but you know, I'll also say that you know we're launching next month. We're excited about the launch, but it's it's not going to be instant. It is actually a beta. We're launching it in beta, which means we're rolling it out slowly for a small group of audience. We want to make sure our current Blue Artist customers migrate comfortably. And and then slowly, you know, we start bringing in more and more customers. So it's not all going to, you know, be instantaneously amazing. But, um, but, uh, but we are excited about the launch next month. And, and I'm happy, you know, if you will join us with that. What you just laid out here with the uh, the Kai Music Group, um, mm-hmm. it sound it sounds like something that I would uh, trust you guys hearing my son's music with. Ooh, I like that. I like that, and I know that that's really what it comes down to. Is it, it comes yeah. down to trust? Yes. So, now, as far as that, that, that you're leaning towards, what what is that? As far as what genre? Oh, yeah. we're we're not we're not really we're not really making a judgment call there right now. We're 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 more about the process. Um, I'm pretty sure there's there's music that we probably won't accept or artists that we won't accept if they don't fit the kind of culture that we have with Kai Music Group. Um, but uh, you know, I I I would rather say. Um, I would rather say what we probably what we're not going for versus what we are. We're going to be pretty broad. We're not we're not looking at music that's you know offensive. We're not really looking at we're not we're. I mean, hopefully this picture that you're looking at on my screen right now kind of kind of sell kind of kind of gives you an idea of the of the of the culture that we're going for. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're not really going after the the. Uh, goth heavy 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 satan music or um you know uh hip-hop that's incredibly degrading and things like that Um, yeah i don't i mean i'm saying that now i'm not making any promises i you know we'll see how things grow and develop maybe that's something that I, i don't know but i can say that right now we're focused on good quality music that um that can appeal to the mainstream audience and uh, and can position the artist to to not just make the investment, but make their investment back um, when it's when it's sold and distributed. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say, and I, and and I am so happy that you're asking such incredibly good questions because this this is telling me that you're engaged, but it's also telling me that we're on to something and that this is resonating with you. And I want to share with you this sort of template i don't know if you can see oh you can't see this let me put it into the here we go oh goodness Ah, all right just a second okay i want to share with you this template which is an additional incentive that we're offering our legacy clients and you are a legacy client. Um, This is an incentive that uh, if you have a good time, if you really enjoy what we're, you know, what we're doing with Brandes, I want to give you an opportunity to, uh, to make money and to be an ambassador um, and to basically further cut your finance balance to zero. So in your case, if you were to post a testimonial uh, or give us a testimonial about our service, maybe your experience with us so far, maybe when we did your photo shoot or uh, as we move forward with your book publishing deal or your, you know, your website, if you gave us a testimonial 
uh, we would give you a credit of $20 for that testimonial. If you did a comprehensive post about Blue Artists and the Brand S team, if you did a comprehensive post about us on social media, uh, that would earn you $50 in credit. If you took a selfie and posted it on Instagram, and in that selfie, you're wearing a brand desk uh, or, or a Kai Music Group shirt or something like that. We have plenty of apparel that we're going to be launching with. So if you if you wore that apparel in a selfie that you made that you take and post on Facebook or Instagram, we would like to give you $20 for that selfie. By doing simple things like providing a testimony or giving us a comprehensive uh, testimonial on social media, or taking a selfie and posting that, wearing one of our clothing items on social media, you're earning additional credit that is applied to your balance, reducing it. This is stuff you can pick and choose. So if you said, Pierre, look, I love you guys so much. I wanna give you three testimonials. I'll give you a testimonial for what you did for me in uh, with the photos, another testimonial for the website, and another testimonial for the publishing. We're gonna count that as three separate testimonials, which, look at that, that's $60 applied to the to your finance balance. Does that make sense? I follow and it does. Excellent. So this will be the conversation that we have in May. In May, we're gonna, you and me are gonna talk. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna discuss which of these you're comfortable doing. Um, and we'll just apply the credit and whatever is left, you know, even if it's $2 <laughs> or maybe you, maybe you provide us enough testimonies that you pay off the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally okay. Um, We've come a long way then. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, you know, that's, that's simply what we're going for. And, um, uh, you know, it's going to be totally possible for you to completely just wipe out your the rest of that finance debt just by helping us out and spreading the word about what we're doing at Brandes. You know, as far as what you guys do and the relationship that we've had throughout all of this, you know, I, I've enjoyed our time. I respect the time that uh, that we've had and the time that you put in. Um, you know, the people that, that you have working there, you know, was always able to uh, communicate and, uh, and and talk to and the feedback was always received. And, you know, so you you have no problem with me. Okay, Thank you. I'm with you guys. I, I root for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't wait. We're, we'll reconvene in May if I don't hear from you before then, you know, I'm assuming if you have an issue with your website, you'll reach out. But if I don't hear from you, we will reconvene in May. I will reach out to you to schedule an appointment with you so we can sit down and, and really talk about how we're gonna reduce that balance any further by doing any of these particular incentives. And then um, I'll, you know, we'll get we'll get you into Brandesk if you're if that's what you'd like to do, and um, and kickstart that relationship. So that'll happen in May and um, probably in the beginning of May. Believe me, I have a lot of conversations I need to have this month mm -hmm. with a lot of people <laughs> to make this happen. But um, COVID-19 is what really, is what really kind of made us realize that, you know, we, we, we have to, this is how we have to do it. Because otherwise, you know, I don't know that in this kind of climate, in this economic climate, I don't know that people are very, enthusiastic and excited about you know the people are trying to survive right now there you know a lot of people are not in the right mindset for building their brand yeah and, there's a lot of things going on a yeah. lot of them and so we want to do our part to kind of help to just shift the mindset a little bit so that there can be some excitement around brand desk and about what what the opportunities that are available there so that you can kind of get in there and, and start taking advantage of, of the incredible system that we're, you know, we're really proud to launch. So again, thank you for your time. This has been really fantastic. Well, thank you. And I, I could say the same, <laughs> you know, I could say the same. <laughs> In fact, I will. <laughs> you know, 
you know, because yes, I know this, like I said, you know, we have come a long way and this, we have been at this for a while and, you know, it's been kind of stagnant at some points and, um, you know, you, but you, but you've hung in there and, uh, you've always maintained the same, you know, energy as if, uh, you know, as if we hadn't, you know, stalled for a while. And, and I appreciate, that's what I think I appreciate most about working with you and all like that. So, so yes. So thank you. <laughs>